Behold, my new trailer for 2017. I'm super excited about it. We're gonna talk about it. The Malone Mega Sport. Really, bro? Really? I'm trying to record here. Let's get started with this review. So let's get to the story behind my Malone Megasport because there's quite a story here and I want to share it with you because it's an important story on customer service and paying attention to details and so many other things. So I was still on vacation when I ordered it. It was just before New Year's uh, Eve, New Year's Day, the holiday weekend. So I got my shipment in about two days later after placing it fairly fast. And once it arrived, I look at the packaging. I'm like, well, why does it say Malone Microsport? So I opened up one of the boxes and it was a tire box, and it turns out that they were the Microsport uh, trailer tires and the rest of the packaging and, and the boxes. That, that was for the Malone Microsport trailer, not what I ordered, the Megasport. So there was a lapse in ACK's uh, shipping uh, department in, in paying attention to what they were you know, packaging and sending off per my order. I contacted ACK immediately. I had to sit through the entire holiday weekend um, until everyone went back to work, get a response from customer support, primarily from Brandon over at ACK. We got on the phone. I, I explained the situation that, you know, look, I'm highly disappointed. I ordered it. I got the wrong uh, trailer. It really threw me off because, you know, I had planned to have a buddy come through and build it while I was still on vacation. Once I started work, my he work schedule was really hectic. And so it would just took a while for me to put it together and even have an extra hand to help based on their schedule. And so, you know, I apologized. He uh, immediately sent me all the info to have that shipment sent back through UPS. And they immediately processed and he verified himself that they were in fact shipping me the correct Megasport trailer, sent that off. Two days later, I got that packaging and everything and we were good to go. They were kind enough to, uh, you know, give me store credit uh, for the hassle. It was very much appreciated. So, you know, the lesson here is customer service still goes a long way and uh, Brandon did a lot to, to make things right. And so big shout outs to them for, for doing that. It was appreciated for sure. Now let's talk about the assembly. First thing I wanna talk about here when we talk about the assembly of the Megasport trailer is the fact that when I went through all of the boxes and unboxed all the items, all the, the stuff for the trailer, it did not include an instruction manual in there, nor did it say to go to Malone's website to find one. In fact, I went to Malone's website to look for one and there's no like support tab that has a listing of all their instruction manuals for building any of their trailers, at least not that I found, especially not for the Malone Megasport. So of course I had to get back on the phone with ACK, spoke to Zachary. Uh, he was gonna look into it to find one. I then called Malone because at that point I had my buddy with me and we're ready to build this thing and I'm on a time hack. Uh, spoke to a young lady at Malone who was very kind. I explained, hey, I just got my trailer. There's no instruction manual in here. I can't even go on your website and find anything. And so about 15, 20 minutes later, uh, Zachary hit me up in an email with the instruction manual. And so then I could actually begin the build. Something to be aware. I don't know if it was just my packaging that did not include it or it doesn't come with it, but it should. Or at least it should clearly say on a, a, a simple sheet of paper on uh, one of the packaging uh, paperwork that you get, documentations that you should go to this URL on Malone's website to then download it or pull it up on a PDF. That's just, to me, common sense. But anyway, once I got that situated and wasted 20 minutes, we go on to assembly. Now, I will tell you that assembly for this trailer was fairly simple. Things go a lot faster when you have a drill, when you have all the wrench bits and um, everything you're gonna need for all of that. It went by pretty fast. In all, it took about eight hours to build, but it was a fairly smooth process. There was only a few parts in there that really weren't clear, like for the fact that the very front uh, crossbar, the very first one, has to go in a certain direction, has to face, uh, the holes have to face up. Didn't see that when you went to go place it in the very beginning steps. And so once we caught it and we had to go back and unbolt it, flip it around, do it, little things like that, you know, eat up time. But to my knowledge, the rest of it was really smooth and it worked out really well. If I have to give it a grade, I'm giving the assembly of a Malone Megasport a B plus. 
assuming you have the instruction manual to then complete it in a timely manner. All right, let's talk about accessories on my Malone Megasport because I definitely needed storage options on this. And this is one of the key kind of things that drew my eye to the trailer itself is the fact that it has like onboard storage options. So that means for me that I can put a lot more of my gear on the trailer in those storage bins and have more room in my car for other things or just to have room period and not have to drag it all in the car. Now the two storage containers that I added um, to my Molo Megasport are the wire uh, storage bin, which is at the back of the trailer. It, it's, it's really clever how they did it. They built it so that it sits on the frame itself and at that point you secure it down with these u-bolts um and it's in there secure it's not going anywhere and it also comes with a camp strap so that you can weave it through the base of the wire or through the lid and cinch it down so that when you're traveling the lid doesn't pop up and if you hit a, a bump or anything it won't come up and around or fly off or anything so that's how you secure the uh top to the bottom itself and I think it's a great option. You can put a lot of stuff in there. If you're traveling, get the camping gear back all in there so it doesn't, you know, hoard up your back of your uh, car, your truck bed. You, you just, it gives you a lot more options and I really wanted it. Now, one thing I will say is that it's not cheap. You're looking at, if I remember correctly, uh, don't quote me on it, it's definitely around a $300 range, maybe even a little bit more. The second storage container that I added, which I really, really loved, I really, really loved, is the rolling out, um, it's a Plano built storage bin, a plastic storage bin. Um, it's really thick. It's it's not too heavy, but it's definitely a thicker plastic. It's an additional accessory. You have to install a couple more uh, cross rails on the base trailer itself. That was easy to do, and the instructions were really clear. Um, and you have to take out a couple of bolts that are on the frame to make room for it. You put in these rollers. It, in, in total, it might have been a 15-minute job. And initially, I thought that it may have been um, a watertight seal and waterproof. I thought that would be great. Unfortunately, it is not waterproof. Water can't get in there. In fact, there is a, um, a little drain plug that they built into it. So if you do get water in there, you can just pop it open and let the water drain out of it. The container itself has a lot of room. In fact, what I've done now is I've taken all of my... Uh, small Plano 3700, 3600 uh, uh, watertight uh, tackle trays that have all my different lures in and, and now they're all in there and it's locked up and it's sitting in the trailer. I have so much more room in my garage now where I've had all my uh, bait stored. I've got it now in this container and what's even better is before when I would travel out, I would simply um, go through and take the boxes that I thought I would need for that fishing trip. If we're going for bass, I take the, you know, my little bass kit of stuff. If we're going for like crappie or pike, I just grab those items. Now they're all sitting in there. So no, it doesn't matter where I go. I just got to hook up the trailer and go and I can go through there, pull out the tray and, uh, go ahead and grab the tackle that I need, put on the kayak that I need for whatever body, body of water I'm at. So I'm no longer restricted to just taking that stuff and then getting on the water and being like, damn it i wish i had x you know what i'm saying so i really like that idea um and being able to do that now a couple of things i do want to point out that are to me some design flaws with the slide out storage container the fact that the handles when you pull it out to the side the back handle uh falls back and when you go to push it back in it gets pinched between the frame and the container itself and so what you end up having to do is walk all the way around to then pull it out and pull it over the frame so that you can lock it back down. Uh, the same thing goes for the fact that when I pull mine out to then open it and get the stuff that I need. But once you put it back in, we'll get pinched between the rollers. And so again, it becomes a little bit of a hassle, a little bit, in my opinion, to be a little design flaw, which I think could be fixed in a future version of that storage container. The other thing I kind of modded on the container itself is that if you see... There are some holes right here on the beams where the uh, storage container sits in. And what you're supposed to do is place a nut and bolt through there. And it acts as a stop for the wheels. You put these little uh, rollerblade wheels on the back of the container. So it rolls through those uh, crossbars. And it acts as a stop so that you can pull it out only so far. And then that's that. But I took those out because I need to be able to pull out my tray all the way. Again, because I have the PVC pipes for cradles on my on my trailer, so I took those out. Of course, I also needed 
a spare tire so that's another accessory right around the 160 range i want to say um, it does come with the locking system uh, to put it and mount it on the trailer itself and you just add a lock also the trailer does come with the jack as you see here uh, because it's so heavy and it's heavy duty you will need one so fortunately it comes with the base trailer and i thought that was a great add-on for sure another great thing about the malone megasport for me is the fact that at the very front of the trailer base frame they purpose built it so that it could fit a cooler right there and so another accessory that i added and this is my first kind of dive with this brand is um, an angle cooler i have just bought the deep blue 80 i believe it is yeah it's the deep blue 80 cooler and it fits like a glove right in that front section as you'll see here um i'm loving it i'm excited about it the cool thing about it is that you can secure it down to the frame so you don't have to worry about it popping out. You can either put cam straps or you can use a bungee. Right now, I just have a bungee just because it's sitting in there for now. I'm probably going to go ahead just for my own peace of mind. Just take a cam strap, cut it down a little bit, um, just long enough so that I can fit it through the opening uh, down and around, secure it down to each side, and that thing is not moving whatsoever. For added security, you can go ahead and, and what I'm going to do when I'm traveling and when it's just sitting on the trailers, add a... Uh, cable lock through it uh, and mount that to the frame so that there's have you know uh, just added security there so no one gets the funny idea of trying to take that and run next let's talk about the mods that i made the first thing that's pretty clear and evident is that i added my pvc uh three inch schedule c pipe uh to the uh crossbars and that acts as a cradle for my hobby and for me i absolutely love this because when i go to launch the kayak right into the water it just slides right off there when you go to uh, load it back up it slides right back on uh, versus using just uh cradles on each arm i think it's a lot harder to um launch it or load it you're better off just kind of taking the kayak off and then just kind of wheeling it down to the launch itself so for me, because I like to back down uh, the ramp with my trailer, the PVC pipes uh, make that process a whole lot easier. So that's one of the first mods I made to it. The second thing is, is when I put my kayak on the, either the left, the far left or the far right side, because the crossbars are just a straight arm, I was concerned that if I were to tie it down, that the cam strap, you know, could, uh, you know, come up and slide over the crossbar because there's nothing there to catch it to hold it in there from sliding up and around so uh i went to lowe's and found these uh i believe they're like u-bolts smaller two inch u-bolts and they have this plate on it as you see here that has like a uh, it pivots down so i cinched those to each of the four corners of the crossbars and so now if i were to put a uh, cam strap there to tie down my kayak to the edge on either side uh, that cam strap, if it slides, it's going to get stuck right there. It will not pop out and around and over the crossbar. So that's going to give me a lot of uh, peace of mind and security there that I don't have to worry about that happening. I might have spent about six, seven bucks, maybe eight bucks for all four of them. Uh, just put it on there, hand tight, and they're really secure. And that's how I addressed that issue. Another mod I did was to the uh, taillights. Now the trailer itself does come with taillights, although I didn't see in any of the documentation whether or not they were uh, fully submersible. And I need fully submersible because again, I am backing down my kayak on the boat ramps and stuff. So I switched, uh, went on Amazon and just got some that were highly rated, fully submersible. And I just installed those um, instead of the lights that come with the kit. So I'll keep those as a backup. Um, but that is a mod I made just so I know for sure I can get them fully submerged and they will still work. And for added safety and security, I added some reflective tape uh, around the base. You can pick that up at, uh, I don't know, any automotive store, a couple bucks, and it just goes a little goes a long way to just add extra visibility um, out in the road at night. All right, so let me wrap it all up with my overall final thoughts on the Malone Megasport. I really feel like this uh, trailer, the Malone Megasport, is great for anyone who is really looking to hit the road hardcore travel a lot go along for further distances that has multiple kayaks that needs a lot of storage options i mean this might be the the kayak trailer for you there's a lot of options i mean you're gonna pay a higher price for this than you would for something from say harbor freight that you can mod out all day i get that but for me uh this was really just something that that fulfills a need the needs that i 
uh, have has a lot more options that you can add on to it. You can add a second tier, add a tree with more crossbars for even more storage options and or putting more kayaks or SUPs up there. Um, so this thing is like a beast, you know, it's really to me it looks like it's a beast. Um, and I'm excited uh, about this. And so hopefully this review is useful to you in your quest to find the perfect trailer for you. It may not be for everyone. But if you are in the market for one, I would suggest checking this thing out. I haven't taken it out into the road just yet. I'll be honest with you. Um, but just from, you know, what it does, what it can do and everything, um, I'm loving it. And if anything changes, I'll make sure to give you an update in future vlog videos um, and everything. So hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. If you like it, please share this with anybody else that you might think uh, might need the info or is in the market for a trailer and they might find it useful. And it's getting too cold out here. I'm, I'm really am freezing. It's like 35 degrees right now in Chicago. So I got to go and warm up. Peace y'all.